It's my May 2019 debt snowball update. It's not as exciting as last month when I got to my halfway of my debt payoff journey, but it's still a neat little milestone this time. Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here. If you're new to this channel, I'm currently following the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I'm on baby step number two, paying off about $42,000 in debt. Here we go over my budgets, my debt snowballs, vlogs, hauls, things like that. So if you want to continue to follow me on my journey, click the little red subscribe button down below. I am dog sitting right now, so I get to use this lovely tablecloth as a background again for a couple of videos. I love this thing. It is very bright, vibrant. I love it, it's beautiful. Let's just jump right into it. First of all, my minimum payment. I guess I did not update it in time for the extra amount because I like to round up. And because I paid off one of my loans last month, I needed to try to update the amount so it could round off into a round number because my minimum payments for the last four loans is now $95.33, so I wanted to round up to $100. Now I had to add a little bit towards each of these four loans in order to get $100 just because I like round numbers with that kind of stuff. Obviously with my debt snowball, anything extra that I put towards it will have change, but I like that minimum payment to be a round number. So I guess I didn't do it soon enough and my minimum payment ended up being 95.47 because of the previous change that I had added to round it up to 120. I hope that makes sense, but it was 95.47 this time. So that was the minimum payment, that was that amount because that will go into the total actual paid calculation that we have here. And of course, here I have my student loans. I have all my consumer debt down here in the debt graveyard that I have paid off. Now we're just on my student loans and I have three out of the seven paid off. These dates here are just when I took them out so I know how to distinguish them when I look at them online. And the S's and U's are subsidized and unsubsidized. Just for people that are curious about whether they were subsidized or unsubsidized, I have a mix of both. And then of course, these are the minimums on each individual loan. Yes, all of these loans are individual, but I only have to pay one payment and then it splits it up within the website to each of the loans. So that $95.47 got paid. And then my debt snowball payment for the month was $1,159.40. 49 cents, which is pretty good. It's obviously not as much as that almost $3,000 payment I made last month, which is the largest that I have ever made, but it is still really good, over $1,000 towards this loan. That brings that loan down to $1,939.58. So I have less than $2,000 left on that loan, which I think is pretty exciting. I think that's definitely doable, and it's those bigger loans that come next that kind of intimidate me, but I'm confident I'll get through those as well. My fourth loan then came down to $5,335.18, and that's just from the minimum payment. It pays off all of the interest gained in the month, plus a little bit of the principal. The next one is $5,376.63. And finally, we have $6,981.43. I'm just really glad to see that under $7,000. I'm still, I'm still really glad. It's been a couple months that it's been under, but it's pretty exciting. That brings my total down to $19,632.82. So I'm under $20,000 now. That's really cool. So with my debt snowball payment and my minimum payment, the total actual that I paid this month is $1,254.96. And my total overall paid towards my debt is $27,519.45. My total actual down for the month was $1,162.93, means I lost $92.03 to interest. I'm not sure why it's higher than usual this time, uh, so I'll just keep an eye on that over the next couple months. 
And then my total actual down since the beginning of my debt journey, $22,655.47, which means I've lost $4,863.98 to interest over the past little over two years. But that is it. I think it's super exciting. I reached like another milestone of being under $20,000 now. How are you all doing on your debt journeys? I will of course put the links up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest for you guys and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.